So you've done all your research, ordered all your parts, and finally judgment day has come. It's time for you to build a PC for the very first time. But I'm sure you've noticed from the plethora of build videos on YouTube that putting together a PC is a lengthy process with a lot of labor, meaning with so many steps, there's so likely that it's something's going to go horribly, horribly wrong. Yeah, but to preface it though, we want to assure you that no one's first PC build is perfect and there will always be a step you'll back on and wish you'd done better. Uh, yeah. But that's okay. Everyone makes a mistake here and there when building. It's just about minimizing them so that your PC still turns on at the end. So without further ado, to help ease your nerves, boost your confidence and educate you on what exactly you should be looking out for, there are five mistakes that first time PC build first time PC builders should avoid. <laughs> Number one, not enough research. So while the rest of the tips on this list are about the actual physical act of building, this one occurs prior to your build. In fact, we might even be a little bit late here if you've already ordered your parts. However, in terms of avoiding heartache, this one is super important. While it might sound obvious, please do your research and like triple check that all your hardware and physical dimensions are actually compatible with each other before you build. I can't imagine there's a worse feeling than forking out the money for a GPU, paying double, maybe even triple the price, like, and it just doesn't actually fit in your case. So get reading, because if you're looking for sympathy as you've gone and bought a Ryzen CPU and an Intel motherboard, you're not going to get it from us. Consider yourself warned. Number two, ignoring the manual. Now, I'm sure anyone who has ever built a PC is guilty here, but it's so easy to just toss the manual aside and build your PC while following along with a YouTube video instead. But if you can believe it, there's actually really handy info in your hardware's manual that you'd need to consult when building a PC, especially when it comes to your motherboard. I know, right? Who would have thought? So as boring as it sounds, give yours a read to make sure you're installing things in the right place and in the right way. That build video you're following along to might require a completely different set of instructions than what your parts do. So be sure to remind yourself that your build is unique and that you need to study up on what's been provided for you so you understand how all your new toys play together. Number three, lazy fan configuration. Now, while they might look identical on either side, there's actually a specific way to install your fans. If you look at the casing of your fan, you'll probably spot a small imprint that informs you of which way it's supposed to be facing, and you'll have to keep in mind which way you're installing it when you build your PC. So be sure to recognize what airflow configuration you want in your PC before you start installing fans, so that you'll actually screw them in correctly on your first go. We recommend your front fans are is facing inwards so that your PC draws in cool air and the fans at the top or back going outwards so that warm air is exhausted. Also, if you're curious as to the different ways airflow can be configured, be sure to check out our video Airflow Configuration Explained as well. Oh, who's does in that one? It's you! Oh, is it? Oh, I, I edited it too, oh, so oh. like, it's a team effort on that one. Check it out, Go my watch friends. It. Do it. Number four, building on the floor. If you're someone who builds on the floor, have a good hard look at yourself in the mirror. Do you respect the person looking back at you? Because I don't. You sick freak! Not only is it uncomfortable, building on carpet specifically also creates the possibility of static buildup, not to mention the heartaches that occur when you drop one of your tiny screws and it immediately goes missing. Instead, please build on top of a large desk space as you need plenty of room to organize all the parts that aren't yet in your case, your tools, and the abundance of screws. This way, it's much easier to keep track of what you're working on and you don't have to literally surround yourself with PC hardware allowing you to move freely around your workspace. Number five, improperly handling your equipment. Now, most first time builders tend to be a little bit too fragile considering how much they've spent on their parts. I understand why, but sometimes you just got, got to use a little bit of force. If anything, being too dainty with your hardware can mean things won't be installed securely. The last thing you want to do once you finish building is have to crack open your case again because your RAM wasn't pushed all the way in. Ugh. That being said though, it's probably not a good idea to lick the pins on your CPU. Or play bocce yeah. with your HDD. Your hardware is still fragile after all, so it's about finding a happy medium. So there you have it. Those are five mistakes that you'll want to be across as a first time PC builder. We hope you've learned something today as you bravely go forth from here. Best of luck with your build, and we know it's going to turn out super neat. If we instilled a bit more confidence in you today, be sure to give us a like and leave a comment if you have any other tips for first-time builders that we might have missed. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ding that ring-a-ding bell. 
be notified every time we upload. And while you're still here, be sure to check out either of these videos that are floating above myself and Keely sometime, and we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Please leave. See ya. Love you. Done. <laughs>